friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the WW Air Fryer recipe series. I cannot wait to share these two recipes with you guys. They are so incredibly good and super easy. You're going to feel like you're indulging, but they are absolutely positively WW friendly. So if you have an air fryer and you need some recipes or some tips and tricks how to use it, this is the video for you. If you don't have an air fryer and you're on the fence in purchasing one, again, this is the video for you. So if you want to see what two recipes in the air fryer, WW friendly that I have in store for you, then all you have to do is keep watching. For tonight's air fryer recipe, we are going to make WW friendly Hawaiian empanadas. I am super excited for this dinner. I'm going to pair this with a vegetable. So let me show you what I'm putting in my Hawaiian style empanadas. So first you're going to need some self rising flour, some non-fat Greek yogurt. We are making two ingredient dough. So these two ingredients here mixed together make amazing dough. I really prefer the fa'e yogurt. I feel that it's thicker, less watery, so your dough comes out less sticky. You're also going to need some pineapple tidbits. I'm going to be using Dax Italian Blast. I love Dax spices. No salt, but packed with flavor. I love the Italian Blast in any type of pizza, calzone, that type of a dish. So I thought that it would pair really nicely in Hawaiian empanadas. If you're interested in purchasing Dax seasonings, you can go onto their website, use my discount code down in the description box below, save yourself 10% and get free shipping. So if you're watching your salt or if it's the day before weigh-in like it is for me, salt-free seasoning that is packed with flavor is the way to go. So Dax Italian Blast, you're also going to need some diced ham, some light mozzarella. I'm going to use the Trader Joe's and an egg for an egg wash. So let's get started on our air fryer Hawaiian style empanadas. So the first thing that we need to do is make our two ingredient dough. So what I have here is one cup of self rising flour. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Dax Italian Blast. Now this seasoning does have a little bit of a kick, so I am gonna go kind of light on it. We're kind of spice wuss wussies. And then I'm also going to add in my non-fat Greek yogurt. Now, I do not measure my Greek yogurt because I just add it until my dough is the consistency that I want it to be. So I don't want my dough to be too sticky, so I don't wanna overdo the non-fat Greek yogurt. So what you're going to do is you're just going to mix this together until your flour and your yogurt is nice and combined. It is going to be a dough, so it's going to be chunky. It is going to have chunks of dough in it, and that is just fine. You just want to make sure that your flour gets nice and incorporated. So we're going to mix our dough together until we have perfectly formed two ingredient dough. Once you get your dough formed into a ball, I'm going to take my little roller. I did buy this roller off of Amazon. I do have this link down in my description box in my Amazon store. I want to say it was $6. I struggle with the big rollers with two ingredient dough. So I love that this has a large end and a small end to really get in there and roll out your dough. So I'm going to use the larger end and I'm just going to roll this out until I have a nice big sheet of dough. I probably will grab some nonstick cooking spray. You can always spray your roller with that if you feel like your dough is really, really sticky. Once I get it somewhat rolled out, I generally will transfer it directly to a piece of parchment paper. That also allows me not to have it stick to my counter. So I'm going to get this rolled out into a nice big thinner sheet because I'm going to cut it into four equal sections for my empanadas. Once you get your four pieces rolled out nice and flat, we're going to be adding in our empanada ingredients. So what I have here is I went ahead and measured out one ounce of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella. So I'm going to add that just kind of to the center of my empanada. I also went ahead and measured out one ounce of the diced ham that is only one point so I'm also going to add that to the center 
of my empanada. And lastly, I'm going to be adding in some pineapple. So I'm just going to take a spoon here. I did already kind of drain it. And I'm just going to add a few pieces of pineapple directly also to the center of my empanada. Super easy, you guys. We're just basically going to fold this over and we wanna just close it up. It does not have to be pretty. We just wanna basically make sure that our ingredients in the middle stay in the middle. So that's pretty much it. And then we are gonna go ahead and add this directly right here to my air fryer tray. Now, if you have the basket air fryer, you can go ahead and add your empanada directly into the basket of your air fryer. But that's it, you guys. Super easy. Look at how yummy that looks. So I'm going to add that to my tray, do my other empanadas here, and then we'll be ready to add an egg wash and get these into the air fryer. Once you have your empanadas all nice and folded up, you're gonna go ahead and take one of your eggs, kind of gently mix it together, and then you're just going to apply a nice coat of egg wash over all four of your empanadas. That way they will get nice and golden brown in the air fryer. So you wanna make sure you get a nice solid egg wash on all four of your empanadas. All right, next up we're gonna get our empanadas into the air fryer. So here they are nice and egg wash they look so good i'm going to put them here on about the second shelf of my air fryer again i do have the power of an elite which is the oven style of air fryer not the basket so i'm going to go ahead and pop those in there let's go ahead and get this turned on we want this at 375 and i'm going to go ahead and start at 10 minutes and i'll just kind of keep my eye on them make sure that they don't get overdone i want them crispy i do not want them doughy my air fryer also has a light here so i can easily keep my eye on how my empanadas are cooking and while these are cooking i'm going to get some frozen veggies in the microwave i just pulled the hawaiian empanadas out of the air fryer look at how delicious these look nice and golden brown i made sure that the dough was all cooked this is going to be absolutely delicious so i'm going to let these cool while my veggies continue cooking in the microwave and then i'll plate up my dinner and i'll give you the smart points so this is tonight's dinner i have one serving of california blend veggies all i did is spray that with a little bit of i can't believe it's not butter spray salt and pepper here i decided to go ahead and add a little bit of pizza sauce to a bowl i warmed that up in case i decide that i want to dip my empanada in some pizza sauce and then here is my empanada look at how cheesy and delicious that looks so it is three points for the dough one for the ham one for the cheese so my empanada is a total of five smart points if i eat a quarter of a cup of the pizza sauce which most likely I will not, that would be an additional point. So I'm going to count my dinner as five smart points. Yum. For tonight's air fryer recipe, I am going to be making air fryer cojina. Thank you to those of you that told me how to pronounce it. Now I hope that I pronounced it right, but let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. I'm gonna pair this with some rice and some veggies. So first you're going to need some oil. I'm gonna go ahead and just use olive oil. You're also going to need flour, chicken broth or chicken stock, fat-free half and half, bread crumbs, light shredded cheese, eggs, chicken or whatever meat you'd like to use, one carrot, minced onion and minced garlic, or you can cut up a fresh onion and fresh garlic, and of course, some salt and pepper. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead, get some water boiling, and we are going to actually boil our chicken. That's going to be the fastest, easiest way to get it cooked and shredded. While our chicken is boiling, we're gonna get the rest of our meal put together. Once you get your chicken boiled and shredded or cubed, however you wanna dice it, go ahead and put it into a bowl. To our chicken, we are gonna go ahead and add in our minced garlic. I am going to do a tablespoon of garlic, 
And I'm also going to do a tablespoon of the minced onion. It just says one each, so I'm not sure what that means in the recipe. So I'm going with a tablespoon. And then I did go ahead and finally dice up my carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. And then I'm also going to add in some salt. And it doesn't say, it just says to taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of salt. Same goes with some pepper. Go ahead and add in some pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in one tablespoon of our fat-free half and half. So I'll go ahead and add in that. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of our cheese. So we're gonna go two tablespoons worth of cheese. And then we are going to take a spoon and give this a nice big stir together. And we're gonna set this aside while we create the dough for our kohinas. But this is essentially going to be the filling. For the dough for our kohina, I went ahead and added one cup of flour to my bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt as well. And this is going to be the dough. And then I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're going to give this a quick stir together. And this is going to be the dough. So next we gotta go ahead and fill our dough with all of our delicious ingredients. And then we'll drudge it in some egg and some breadcrumbs. You guys, this is gonna be so delicious. And then this is what is going to go into the air fryer. Once you stir together your flour and your oil, I forgot this part, sorry, we're going to go ahead and add in some chicken stock and we're just going to go ahead and add enough to get stiff dough. So we don't want it too runny of a dough. We want it a nice stiff pliable dough. So it's going to be somewhat similar to if we were to be making two ingredient dough. So we're just going to keep adding chicken stock until we have that nice dough. And this looks pretty darn good. Give that a good mix. And then we are ready to set it aside before we add in all of our filling. Once you get it into a nice ball of dough, go ahead and use your roller. This is the roller that I purchased off of Amazon. It is linked down in my Amazon store. I love it. It's small. It's easily usable with two ingredient dough and smaller amounts of dough. I want to say it's about $6. So it is linked down in my Amazon store. So we're going to go ahead and roll this out. And then we are going to cut this into circle shapes. And that's what's going to make our Kohina. So I'm going to get this rolled out fairly thin. We don't want it to be too thick. And then we'll be ready to punch in some holes and then fill it with deliciousness. Once you get your dough rolled out as thin as you would like, go ahead and take something round. I'm going to go ahead and use a cup here. And we're just going to cut this into round circles. You may have to roll out your dough again uh, to use the remaining of it. But go ahead and just get them nice and cut into round circles. And then I will have to re-roll out my dough most likely to use all of it. But go ahead and get as many out of your sheet as you can. And then we're just going to repeat that process until we have enough for all of our food. This looks awesome. So there are your circles and then this is what we are going to fill with that delicious chicken mixture. Once you get your circles punched out, it looks like I got two, four, six, eight, nine of them. You're going to go ahead and take your chicken filling. We're going to go ahead and add that to the middle. Now we're probably going to have quite a bit of extra filling um, because these are not very big circles. And then you want to take this and pull this up and essentially you're gonna be forming a dumpling around your filling. So my thought is whatever filling you have left, you can either make more dough or you can set that filling aside and just use it for another recipe or maybe put it into a tortilla or something like that so that you can use up the rest of it. But basically we're gonna go ahead and create a dumpling, go ahead and spin the top closed. Look at how good that looks. So I'm gonna get these all nice and filled up and then we're gonna roll them in some breadcrumbs. Once you get your Kohina all nice and rolled into a dumpling, look at how good that looks, you guys. We are going to take this and we are going to dredge it in some egg 
and then we are going to dredge it in some breadcrumbs and we just want to get it nice and coated so this is what the finished product will look like and then we're just going to put this into our air fryer basket or in my case onto my greased air fryer sheet so i'm going to complete the rest of these and then we'll be ready to put these into the air fryer so the last step before these go into the air fryer look yum is we are going to take some nonstick cooking spray and we're just going to spray each of our little kohinas just so that they get nice and crispy and brown up really good in the air fryer now we are ready to get these cooking all right we're ready to get our kohina into the air fryer so this is the finished product sprayed with a little bit of oil so my air fryer of course is the oven style so i'm going to go ahead and put it here on the second shelf i'm going to do it at 400 for about 15 minutes and we'll see if that gets it nice and cooked through you can always turn the light on here and kind of keep an eye on what you've got cooking in your air fryer but i will be back in 15 minutes all right guys i just pulled these out of the air fryer look at how yummy these look so i'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes i have my rice and veggies cooking i'll plate up my dinner and give you the smart points so here's my completed dinner so there are two of my kohinas each one is a total of two smart points so that is four points i have some corn with a little bit of spray butter salt and pepper for zero and then i have half of a cup of that wild rice which is three smart points a Coke Zero. So this is three for the rice, four for the Kohina. This is a total of seven smart points. Look at how delicious this dinner looks. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the WW Air Fryer series. These recipes again were to die for. They were so good. My husband loved both of them. They are family friendly. They're pretty darn easy and they turn out like the fried delicious, indulgent food, but is WW friendly. So if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you'd hit that little subscribe button. Also, hit yourself that notification bell. That way you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. I'd love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know, are you going to try these two recipes? Because I promise you won't be sorry. And I'll see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.